Okay, B14, number 11. Factor, directions are factor. Factor completely. 6x squared minus x minus 1. Again, there's three things we're looking for when we factor. The first thing we always look for is greatest common factor. Okay, so I look at this and say there, there's no greatest common factor. Right? There's no number I can factor out of all three of those. Okay, so no greatest common factor. What do we look for next? The difference of squares. This is when we can't really factor the difference of squares because there's an x term. Okay, so typically it's a, an x squared term and a number term with a minus in between. Right? The difference of two squares is not going to work here. Next thing we look for is this of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. If it's going to factor, then it's going to factor using this ac method. Okay? So remember, if you want, you can list your a, b's, and c's. Okay, that might help you. a, 6, b's negative 1, c's negative 1. Alright, there's no number by the x. If you want, you can put a 1 there. Negative x and negative 1x are the same thing. Alright? What we want to do is figure out what AC is. Right? AC will be negative 6, that is your A times your C, negative 6. Your B is negative 1. Okay, so the next step is to find two numbers that multiply together to give you AC at negative 6 and add together to give you your B term. So what I do, if I can't figure out those two numbers, I can list all my factors of 6. 6 and 1, 1 would have to be negative to give me a negative 6. It could be like that, right? And remember, they have to add together to give me negative 1. So I know these aren't going to work. No good, no good. Okay. Other factors of 6, well, what about 3 and 2, right? Could be negative 3 and 2, could be 3 and negative 2, but when I add them together, I want them to be negative 1. Right? Multiply together to give you AC, add together to give you B. Remember, um, 3 and then negative 2 is positive 1, so that's no good. It's going to be those two numbers, right? Negative 3, 2, negative 1. Okay, so once I've found my two numbers, I come back over here and rewrite my quadratic expression. Three terms to start off with. The whole process here, or the goal, is to rewrite as four terms. That is to break up your x term using these two numbers. All right, so instead of negative 1x, I want to write negative 3x plus 2x. All right, so that's the next step. Okay, so that's the first step in the AC method is to find those two numbers and then rewrite like that. The next step is to divide it into two little problems, two separate problems, and factor out the greatest common factor from the first two and the greatest common factor from the second two. Okay? Greatest common factor here, I see a 6 and a 3, it means I can factor a 3 out. They both have an x in it, at least an x to the first power. So the greatest common factor is 3x. What happens when I factor out 3x? 3x times what gives me 6x squared? 2x. 3x times what gives me 3x? 1. And then the negative sign stays there. Okay. So over here, greatest common factor 2x and 1. There is none, right? Anytime there's no greatest common factor, you can always factor out a 1. Remember, very important, to factor out a positive or negative. Okay, that's going to influence our answer, it's going to affect our answer. So I want to realize that if I pull out a positive 1 here, it won't change anything, right? It won't change those numbers. At least with 2x minus 1. Okay, so I'm happy with that because I have the same uh, linear factor here and here. It's going to be part of my answer. Okay, the next step, or one step away from the answer, is to pull out the 2x minus 1. If I factor that out, what are you left with? What's on the outside here, including that sign? 3x plus 1, and that's my answer. Okay? Now, you can always check these to make sure you're right by multiplying these back like you did in B13. Go ahead and foil those and see if you get this as your answer. It shouldn't take too long to check your answer. Okay? If you understand, if you understood that, you're ready to move on to the next one. If not, rewind, take another look at it.